Okay guys, so today we're going to talk about HDPVR and, and how you can salvage the hard drive in that. So what I have here is a Motorola uh, HDPVR and it's, it's, it's for shock cable for it's the model it's called DCX3400 Okay, whatever HDPVR you have for any service provider, like cable, be it cable or satellite TV, you have some kind of a box. Okay, inside the box there's a hard drive, and when the, when you have a box that's either broken or you acquire a box that's a rental, you cannot use it, or you cannot register, activate with the service provider, right? Because they refuse to do so, uh, or um, you simply just don't want to use this box anymore, you don't want to sell it, you just want to recover the hard drive in there because it's pretty big size it's for recording the videos, uh, your TV programs, it's pretty big size, uh, normally at least 500 gigabytes up to one or two terabytes. Okay, so how you do that, I'm going to show you how to do that and uh, uh, so that you can, you can use that on your PC or whatever you have. So on this box, First of all, you have to open it to get the to get to the hard drive. On the back, there are three screws. Okay, one is on here. So, one is here by the power support power supply, and one is in the middle here, and one is on the, this left side here. Three screws. So these are specialized screws made by the manufacturer to prevent you from opening this at all okay so you can see this one is a I don't know if you can see it clearly okay so this is kind of a uh, kind of flower shaped then <laughs> uh, no uh, screwdriver head in the market will have this mm. same shape to actually to open it to use it so gonna, here's when you're gonna get creative, okay? So you use something to uh, basically take this out, take this, these three screws out. This is the most hardest part of this operation, okay? So what I did, I found this kind of a needle nose plier on the side. If you can see, there are some teeth here. Oh, I can see it here some teeth here that I think they used to strip wires or something right but these will actually fit perfectly because they will just log on to this log on to this the outside of this dry, uh, screw head like this okay so with this you get a little bit turning power you just turn it it's, gonna, it's painful work it's gonna turn it little by little every time until it, it loosens, then you can just basically take it out. Okay? That's how you do this. This is the hardest part. Once you get past this, oh, oh, okay. okay. Once you pass this, I'll show you. All you have to do is slide this backwards and open. Okay? This is the one I already opened. And if you can see inside, your your model may differ, but always there is a drive caddy, a, uh, a hard drive enclosure, or not enclosure, but a, a caddy to support the drive. Here is the SATA interface. Okay, and these are the screws securing the hard drive to this this caddy. Okay, so on the back, so basically this is secured to the to the board motherboard. All you have to do is uns unscrew the screws which are standard like Felix pad most likely right so just unscrew them take the drive out drive caddy out on the back un unscrew these four screws securing the hard drive to this caddy and that's it you got the drive out and uh, so next next step would be formatting that drive because that drive cannot be used by your Windows PC computer by uh, like initially it's, it's, it's formatted in a very specific format to prevent you from accessing that drive. 
mainly due to copyright issues. Right? But anyway, if you can actually hack this by connecting this to a computer and reformat or repartition that drive to be used by your computer. I'm going to show you on in, in the next step. Okay, so I got these uh, uh, hard drives out from the PVR. Okay, so you can see this is, uh, I actually got two of them. I got two PVRs, I got two of them, Seagate, Western Digital, doesn't matter which brand you have. So these are 500 gigabytes uh, drives from PVR, and these are SATA drives. How you can tell is, here you can see, it's like this, okay? So there's two connectors here, one longer, one shorter, and there, the contacts are here, okay? So this is a called a SATA drive. That's most, nowadays, most PVRs are use this SATA connection interface, okay? So when you get this from your PVR machine, so what you need to do, to do is because these are uh, proprietary uh, partition, they are formatted specifically for just the PVR. Okay, so you cannot use it in your PC because the Windows use the NTFS kind of file system, and this one doesn't. So most likely this is formatted with a Linux Linux uh, operating system. Okay, so uh, when you connect this to a Windows a PC machine, either through your SATA um, connector through uh, like an internal of your desktop desktop machine, or through a USB external hard drive kind of interface. Either way, it's not going to be recognized. The Windows system will not show you there's a drive at all. Okay, um, so we need to basically reformat or repartition this one to be recognized by the Windows if you want to use it. Okay, so now we're going to try to do this. So how we do this, we need, well, you, you can either, like I said, you unplug this in your SATA connector internal uh, machine, in your, inside of your, on the motherboard, basically. Or I have here a USB SATA uh, drive uh, to USB connector. Okay, so I'm going to try this. So I'll show you this this uh, external thing here. Is that on the on the top of my computer here? So it looks like this. So it is. Uh, it looks like this. This is the Black X SATA to USB thingy. So basically, what you do is. You will connect your hard drive. Okay. I need to connect first. Take my old hard drive out from here. Okay, take it out. It's more safe. And we're gonna connect this new one. Connect this new one to the SATA connector on this converter. Okay, once co connected, you're gonna power it up on the back. So power up, the, uh, because it's a, use an external power source. Okay, so power that, and this has a USB connector. So I'm gonna take the USB connector, take the USB connector, we're gonna connect to our laptop. Okay. I'm going to connect this, this USB to our USB port on our laptop. Okay, so that's connected. So you can hear the sound. The Windows actually recognizes there's something plugged in the USB port. Okay. However, what it doesn't do is it doesn't recognize there's a drive in there. You can see here the, the notification bubble says the device is ready to use. But if you actually go into your Windows, say, Fire Explorer. Okay, let's launch Fire Explorer. 
and you go to let me just expand this so it's very hard to use let me expand this and if you see there's only your local disk here right local C and if you click the computer it shows you only the C drive and the DVD drive so it doesn't recognize there is something some drive that's recognizable it does recognize the USB uh, uh, SATA to USB connector is connected because if you look at the oh sorry look at the plug and play kind of indicator says here INIC 1610P is connected that's the SATA to USB uh, adapter okay so but it doesn't doesn't looks like it doesn't have a drive in there so what we need to do is going to go low level just like any other hacking right it's always better to go to a low level uh, so like like hacking with uh, interface you need it to go to the machine level machine code level in this case we're going to go to a low level tool called disk management in windows okay so there are definitely other software you can use uh, the easiest way to reformat this drive is if you have a Linux computer, you just connect that to the computer, the Linux system should recognize it. Okay? And the harder way would be to use some third party software like uh, uh, Petition Magic or something like that to reboot your computer uh, into their own system and uh, recognize that drive and somehow reformat it. So, in, in the middle, the less complex way is to uh, basically use your Windows own software which is called disk management if you right click on the Windows icon uh, okay it's not actually working the Windows 7 You, let's just, just search for it. Disk management. Nothing comes up. This is the first time I'm doing this as well, so we're doing this together. Okay, so if you search here, for disk management, it comes up with the create a format hard disk partition. You click that, see what happens. On the Windows 10, it's actually easier. I'm using my spare Windows 7 machine because I don't want to screw up my computer just in case, right? Um, so Windows 10, you basically on the Windows icon on the left corner, right? And you just right-click your mouse. And should come up with a, 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 a deep menu and a low level menu. One of them says disk management. So on the Windows 7, I guess it should work, but how somehow it right click doesn't work. So you just basically click and search for disk management, comes up, up with this disk management tool. Okay, so right now it already recognized there's a disk 2, says you must initialize a disk before local disk management can access it. Okay, so uh, it uses the following partition style for the selected disks master boot record or GPT. Okay, I think we're just going to go for the, the default, the master, the MBR, master boot record. Okay, let's just say okay so that this disk will be recognized by the windows so that's see that's the reason I want to use this spare computer because it just if on your main computer if you do this and you select the wrong drive it's gonna basically wipe out that drive you can lose all your data right you don't want to do that um, so easiest way is to use a spare computer if you have one uh, 
Okay, so let's see. Let's just figure this out. So obviously drive C, you don't want to touch it, right? So there's drive C here. And the system preserved as part of your computer system, right? You don't want to touch that. Uh, so disk zero says system preserved and C, so that's the disk zero. That's your main drive. Don't touch that. Disk one, removable, that's your probably a CD or something, right? So don't touch that. So this disk two here, you see, you just verify the information, 465.76 gigabytes. So that's just about 500 gigabytes we have. So that's, uh, that's the one we want to uh, reformat. Okay, so actually the CD drive is, is here. So uh, disk one is probably our, some kind of a, uh, removable disk, like, like a SD reader or something. Don't worry about that. As long as you verify this is the size, correct one, okay, we're going to do this. It says here, right, right now, unallocated, okay, not partitioned, not allocated for Windows system usage, but we can change that. Uh, that's why it's not recognized by your computer, right? So we're going to put your mouse und over that and right-click your mouse, select new simple volume. So we're going to create a new simple volume for this computer so that the PC can recognize it. And just click next. So maximum disk space is just about under 500 gigabytes. That's correct. And so I don't recommend changing anything in the screen. So just go next. So assign a, dr a drive letter. So it doesn't matter. It, uh, it was assi assigned the next available letter for your drive. And so we're going to do that. So it's NTFS system, assign the E drive, okay, or, or whatever you have on a computer. So like I said, this is the first time I'm doing this, so we're doing this together. So just don't touch anything, just to be safe. Uh, so format, we're going to select the format with NTFS system that's used by the, by the Windows. Allocate size, leave it default, perform a quick format, and I think that's it. We're not going to change anything. Okay, just go next. Okay, so just confirmation information here. Just finish. Okay, so your computer is trying to format this drive. Once it's formatted, it should be recognizable and usable by any Windows computer. As you can see here, now it's finished. Uh, because it's quick format, it's actually quite uh, fast. This now shows new volume E and the size NTFS system and healthy primary partition. So everything is good. So now if we go back to our regular Windows File Explorer, which is the higher level interface for for regular user. Oh not advanced users. Now you can see on this computer, if we click computer, it shows you all the drives on this computer, you now see a new volume E and it's completely free to use. Okay, so that's how you basically convert a uh, hard, drive, hard drive used by a HD PVR uh, which is formatted with some specific manufacturer designed uh, partition but convert this to a Windows NTFS system so that you can use it on any PC you, you have or whatever external uh, disk drive enclosure you want to put it, this in. Okay, And I hope this helped you as it helped myself to recover some parts in the HD PVR. And thank you for watching.